So as a 1700 ELO player, I want to say that there's been like at least 3-4 times that I've been stuck at the game and so that is a completely normal part of improving in chess. It's, it's just you're leveling up until a certain point. From this certain point you're kind of struggling to level up, you're going up and down and back and forth like this again. That is a very normal part of chess because that means when you're at this point you need to change something in your play. And so from my opinion and from sort of like my experience in chess, in which is not that much but, but still I've been playing like for two years uh, very consistently and seriously. This is sort of like how you stop being stuck at chess. It's like you, you can't really stop being stuck at a certain elo point. It's just that you need then to change something in your play to improve. And so I'm gonna show you now two examples. So let's start. So in this video I'm going to use more examples that are specifically towards beginners but let's say for example you're a 1200, 1300 rated player. This video is also for you because it's the same idea Idea. It's just that, like I'm using more examples specifically for beginners because this video has been watched mostly by beginners. So here we have this position and in here, in this specific position, of course, as you can see, black had made just a move bishop to e5, okay, uh, to d5, excuse me, and the idea is of course, okay, threaten this knight, okay? So as a beginner, you're gonna think, okay, I see this bishop, okay, and, and the issue of beginners is specifically they're extremely focusing on, on a specific side of the board and then they neglect everything else so beginners usually do this okay and they're gonna focus specifically on this like four squares and so that's a mistake uh, that you also if you're a beginner you need, you need to be aware of you need to look at the board as a whole not just as at, at one place like like this okay so you saw it he, he did see in fact that this bishop was threatening in this knight but he di didn't see the mistake that will come after and so what he have done in this position is he moved his knight um well to to e3 okay and that's of course the mistake that happened in this example and in fact he ended up kind of losing from uh, here on of course as you can see the best move is bishop to, is, is knight x on b6 but the issue with beginners and with players who are stuck at a certain elo level is that they're making the same repetitive mistakes for me for an example it happened at 1300 because I was very bad at positional understanding. So I, I could get a position like, like this. And let's say for example that, that the players were uh, 1300, hundreds, I wouldn't know what to do with it, uh, with it if I was a 1300 in this position. This position is specifically for beginners. In positional understanding was very bad uh, at the time. Specifically when I was 700, 800 and I had this sort of like blunder mistakes of like knight to, uh, to e3, what I did is I simply sat down, okay? I sat down, I took a bunch of uh, games that I've played before, like this one, this one, this is a blunder that I've made actually. And so what I did was analyzing all of them and I categorized all the reasons that, that I've lost in a certain game. So uh, game one, I've lost because of a blunder. The, the game next, lost because my opening uh, was not as good as I as I hoped it, it would be. And so you're categorizing the, the mistakes that you're making in the chess games, and then you can pretty much see, okay, I need to improve on X, Y, Z. It actually worked quite well for me after that. And so what happened is I basically took uh, examples like this one. This is a game that I played, and this is a blunder that I've made as a, as a 700 ELO. And I took games like this, and the next example that I'm gonna show you in here, and I combined all of them into just and started categorizing them to the all of the mistakes that I made as a chess player. And so then I, I started to review them and it was easier for me to improve. Okay, so here's the uh, next example, okay? And here's something very similar have happened as well. So let's, uh, let's let me show you that from here. So black castled, okay? And um, white have done knight to f3. I improved the, my position, did pawn to, f, to d6, okay? He moved his bishop, developed it, okay, and here I done knight to e4. I thought, like, th this is gonna be very strong, he can't uh, uh, move his pawn here to attack it, okay? So it's a good point for this knight, and if he takes, for example, with a bishop, I'm gonna take with my bishop too, okay? And that's that's very strong if if that happens. So I thought, okay, this is a good good place for the knight, knight to, to be at the moment. Okay, of course I had bit better moves, but this is what you think as a 1100, 1000 level player. You think, okay, I'm gonna do things like that. And here I was actually very fortunate, but it's the same idea like in the previous example. My opponent has done the move knight, uh, bishop to g5, 
okay and of course this is a blunder because well i can just take here but it's things like that that one keep beginners uh, at a certain uh, level th that they are it's just like one movers like this and you neglect that i can take here and after takes 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 i just end up being up uh, a piece but it's uh, things like this, this these are repetitive mistakes that happen. They are keeping any player at a certain elo level. So for example, for me right now, I can say I'm a 1700 rated player because there's probably something in my play that I'm doing that prevents me from moving to 1800, more like this. When this ha happen, usually what player does is he just sits down, he assembles all of the, his previous games, especially the ones that he lost, and he categorizes them to why he had actually done that. This is something that I did when I was uh, 1300 and, and I had a rough time improving, and it really helped me to improve. And also, this is something that I did at the 1600 ELO level player, like 100 ELO points ago, which really helped me to to reach from 1600 to 1700. So let's take, for example, this position. This position and the last one where this blunder had happened. Okay, this this is a blunder because you can do just queen to, to, to g5, of course. But again, as a beginner, you're not really thinking about this stuff. So I took all of these games from when I was just starting to play chess. I assembled all of them and I thought, okay, what is the main reason that I lose? Is it a bad opening? Is it a bad um, tactical knowledge? And I found out that key reason that I'm losing, okay, there's, you could have like an opening as a mistake and then have more of blunders as a, an issue that, that is happening. I found out for me personally, it's specifically the, the one movers that I make that prevent me from improving. And so what I decided to do is just, I sat down like for a few days and I focused on how do I specifically play more accurately. That really help, helped me to improve when I was stuck at 800 and it really helped me to level up uh, when I was stuck at 1300 and 1600 okay this is something that I continuously have done so let's uh, talk about the example of 700 you're looking at games like this and the previous one and you're thinking okay so the main issue that, um, that happens for me is I blunder okay I make one movers okay and this is by the way examples from my games if I haven't mentioned it before so I say okay my problems are blundering at uh, this level okay how do i come to solve this and then you're improving on this part which is blunder and your elo is gonna inevitably level up okay because you've just fixed uh, something in your play and that is the way that i improved the uh, in chess especially as a beginner and then as a 13 1400 uh, rated player you're gonna look at this and you're gonna think wow i actually have left blunder dude, like this why didn't i just take the bishop here why didn't i just <laughs> improved queen here or something like this and that is the way to improve, it's just analysis uh, that you're doing when you're stuck. And that is the main theme of this video. Alright, so thank you for watching. If this video had been helpful for you, then you're probably the part of the audience that I'm making these videos for, so you can consider subscribing and you're gonna get more videos that are just like this one. And if you really, you really want to improve at the game, you can book on a call with me down below in the description and see what my coaching program has to offer. It's specifically designed for beginners who want to really improve at the game really, really fast. And yeah, that's it for today's video. Peace.